So yes, he's upset about Bucks County, but he was right and he won in court. That's the story. Um, no, I'm just, I don't appreciate being lectured about reporting when you, many times you come here saying lots of things that aren't I will come back, back. Jonathan. But, yeah. but, Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for watching. This is a wild one. You won't be disappointed. The Washington Post is having a rough couple weeks with thousands of subscribers leaving because the obvious Democrat party rag isn't sufficiently political enough for not endorsing a candidate. Now, one of their own straight up leaves a live show because he's tired of being part of an obvious propaganda operation. Check out this wild exchange that happened today on their live show with the far left host, Jonathan Capehart. This week, Donald Trump is laying the groundwork for contesting the election by complaining that cheating was taking place in Pennsylvania by suing Bucks County for alleged irregularities. And this is on top of his continual asser assertion that if he loses, it's because of cheating. Uh, yeah, that's what he's been laying the groundwork for this, just not in the last week, but in the last umpty ump month. This is the third election in a row in which Russia has tried to interfere yes. to try to get Trump into the White House. Um, how do you assess the magnitude and the, the type of interference they're attempting um, this year compared to what they've done in his previous two elections? Well, as you said earlier, Rachel, he's he's at it again. Oh, that was different. No election can be fair unless Donald in Donald Trump's mind, unless Donald Trump wins it. <laughs> Uh, and I think we are going to see him both rev up his supporters to contest elections outside of courtrooms and go to every courtroom he can in America where it's relevant to make whatever um, arguments he can, no matter how far-fetched. We saw Jonathan, that I, I work out finish. last time, but it didn't work out this time. It may not work. It may not, that may not happen this time. And now I'll let you go, Hugh. Well, I just got to say, we're news people, even though we're at the opinion section. It's got to be reported. Bucks County was reversed by the court and instructed to open up extra days because they violated the law and told people to go home. So that lawsuit was brought by the Republican National Committee and it was successful. The Supreme Court ruled that Glenn Youngkin was successful. We are news people, even though we have opinions and we have to report the whole story if we bring up part of the story. So yes, he's upset about Bucks County, but he was right and he won in court. That's the story. Um, no, I'm just, uh, don't appreciate being lectured about reporting when you many times you come here saying lots of things that aren't I will come back, back. Jonathan. I'm what, done. what? I'm done. This is the most unfair election ad I have ever been a part of. You guys are working. That's fine. I'm done. So Ruth. Oh! Wow, that was amazing. And I have to say about time, I think it's safe to say that Hugh Hewitt speaks for us all. So thanks to him for that. I said it many times over the years that a lot of Republicans go on these shows and are just used as props for Democrat party propaganda. And clearly this one has had enough. What exactly are these two left-wing hacks denying as a conspiracy theory anyway? Bucks County was found to have violated election laws and they were forced to extend the early voting. Isn't it just so typical that these two Democrat party hacks can sit there and call any scrutiny of our election system dangerous conspiracy theories. Yet they have free reign to say anything they want about the election system. They spent four years claiming that the 2016 election was somehow unfair or illegitimate because of Russian interference, which is exactly the same thing, but I'm sure in their heads is completely different. Now watch what happens after he leaves because Jonathan Capehart is one of the most arrogant, condescending assholes in the media. So Ruth, you wrote a column this week uh, ending with this line, and actually I think this is perfect. Um, we're gonna put it on the screen. You wrote, you want to know the stakes of this election? Not only democracy, but decency. Talk more about that, Ruth. Okay, I'm um, collecting myself. Drive, drive anywhere, just go, go! Oh, Ruth froze. A human. <laughs> Ruth is frozen. Keep it together. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. So uh, hang in there, everyone. We're going to see if we can try to get Ruth back. 
um, to this uh, very. <laughs> We're gonna get we're gonna get Ruth back in a moment. News and analysis, and Ruth is back. So I'm gonna read that quote back again from your column, Ruth, um, where you wrote, "You want to know the stakes of this election? Not only democracy, but decency." This ship will self-destruct in three minutes. Ah, uh, we lost. We okay, we lost her again. <laughs> That is just so great. She wanted absolutely nothing to do with that question because she could see that after this veteran, well-respected journalist gets up and leaves, after calling out that whole scam for what it is, a campaign commercial for the Kamala Harris campaign disguised to look like a news program. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, both shorts and long form. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.